session. The topic is development of uh, downdraft biomass gas here. Present will be done by FTY uh, Rangana Disiva. Mr. Rangana Disiva received the bachelor's honors degree in mechanical engineering from General Sir uh, John Kotala Medical University, Sri Lanka. He is currently working as an instructor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. His primary research interests are in energy conservation. His teaching areas include thermodynamics and machine design. I want you to present the research. Chairperson Dr. Judith, uh, distinguished invitees, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, the research title of my presentation is Development of Downdraft Biomass Decimal. My presentation has been categorized into these following figures. First, I will give a brief introduction about gasification. Then, the research objective. What is the objective of my research? It has been categorized as primary, secondary. Then, the methodology, <coughs> fabrication process, governing principles, and an analyze results, industrial application, finally, the conclusion. So, what is gasification? Gasification is a thermal conversion process where heat and combustible gases are being produced. So, these combustible gases can be called as syngas or synthetic gas. So, mainly the things which include primary, uh, primary the carbon monoxide and hydrogen is being so, carbon monoxide and hydrogen reacts and uh, creates CH4, methane plus H2O, water. So, this gas can be uh, fired in uh, furnaces and to run the boilers and also to co fire with natural gas. So, the research objective is to come up with a particular idea, actually, a substitution for the use of LP gas. So, we can use this biogas as a substitution with the LP gas. LP gas means uh, liquid petroleum gas. So, the secondary objective is to maximize the efficiency. The, gas, the gasifier can be classified into two. First one is the downdraft gasifier and the other one is the updraft gasifier. I have mainly focused on downdraft gasifier because the loading capabilities and the energy, the amount of energy contained in that gas is much higher than the updraft gasifier. So, updraft gasifier the failures are, uh, loading capacities are very low and the top concentration of the gas which means impurities are very high. So, the energy density will be high in downdraft gasifier. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce my ultimate product, the gasifier. It's a portable device and the energy, uh, the efficiency is being fully maximized. So, you can see the gas line is being connected to a cooking stove. So, like LP gas, we can use uh, the uh, biogas. Right, thank you. So, you can see this is a uh, 55 gallon barrel. So, this is the biomass that we are going to use, which means wood pellets. The, uh, the water percentage it contains is much low, 10 to 50. I have uh, specially ordered uh, the water percentage of this one is 12 percent. So, the energy density will be high. So, we are going to fill uh, this biomass to this chamber. I'll, there's a video, uh, the steps that I'm fo following up to fire up the engine. So, uh, just bear with me, uh, I'll just uh, explain these uh, main, main three sources. This one is a cyclone filter. So, the when the motor uh, is on, the biogas will suck from this particular pneumatic lines. So, this one acts as a cyclone filter and all the impurities, which means bio oil, uh, will, will be collected here. So, this is a cylinder filter and uh, more the gas will be uh, 
clear and no impurities will be filtered from this uh, chamber. Right. So let's see how it's done. Uh, this method should be very uh, airtight system. So you can see this one is the fire tube. So we are going to fill these wind pellets on top of that thing. This, uh, that, that is the secondary filter. So we are going to fill it with sawdust. That's the motor. All the pneumatic lines are there. And this one is a shake assembly. So we are going to fill wood pellets from this particular hole and uh, fire it up from here. There's a fire hole. So you can see, uh, now I am loading the uh, strainer. So I, I have uh, put a net so that the sawdust won't suck from this blow. So you can see that I am uh, uh, filling up the uh, gallon barrel with uh, wood pellets. So that's the fire tube. So you need to first fire it up just uh, by using a roll up newspaper. And you can see from this chimney, the gas is being coming out. So it's very flammable. You can see, uh, first you need to load it and you need to switch on the blower. Initial stage, when the gas is uh, become much stabilized. There are three butterfly valves. One, two, and three. First, you need to open this valve and close and close this one, so that the motor will suck gas from the system and chimney will uh, send it out. So you can see the gas line uh, it comes very clearly. So you can see how much uh, how much pitch the energy density is and we can use this particular gas line directly to the cook stove or else we can uh, use it we can compress the gas and store it for future use all right so and also the bio bio oil can be uh, taken for export production and to co-fire with furnaces. So bio oil is not just wasted. We can uh, take this particular oil to fire up furnaces. Right. Let me uh, give an uh, introduction about the governing principles. So you can see mainly carbon monoxide and hydrogen is being uh, come together and it creates CH4 plus H2O. You can see the gas line. Right. So these are the analyzed results. I have taken one liter of water and I have calculated how much time that will it takes <coughs> to boil. So by <coughs> using LP gas, we got 210 seconds. From biogas, from this unit, it took 240 seconds. It has a difference, uh, 30 seconds difference, but it's in cost effective wise, it's better. But uh, when you uh, get pure biomass, it has 285. So, from LP gas, energy contained in 1 kilogram in LP gas is 49 megajoules. So, we are, uh, we are, the cost we are putting to 1 megajoule is two, uh, 2 rupees and 66 cents. But using this particular method, the uh, cost we are going to put to this machine is only <coughs> 2 rupees and 8 cents. So we are going to save 58 cents per megajoule. 58 cents per megajoule. So you can see, cost saving from 2.3 kilogram of gas cylinder, we are going to save 65 rupees and 37 cents. And when the, uh, yes, when the uh, volume reaches up, the savings will be grow. Right. So the industrial application can uh, get uh, the, uh, the sub substitution for the, for the LP gas and for uh, uh, space heating and also boiling water. We can use it. So the conclusion is the energy that the, for one megajoule, the cost that we are 
uh, investing in this particular system is much low than regular LPGs. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. 